Praise God, hallelujah, Saturday evening worship service, hallelujah, praise God. Welcome home, amen, welcome home. Praise God that we have Sunday mornings to look forward to, if we're not raptured out of here in the next half an hour, to just come together as brothers and sisters, as the body of Lord Jesus Christ, to just come, amen, to just come, to fellowship and to bless Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Is he worthy? Hallelujah, he is worthy, amen. He is worthy of all the glory, honor, and praise for all of eternity. And I know who I'm talking to. Praise God. Saturday evening worship service. Hallelujah. I pray that this word from the Lord blesses you. I, I know it has me in devotion and in preparation for this message. Praise God. Now, I just want to make sure that I, I'm obedient when I say this. And we're going to pray here in a moment. Hallelujah. But what we're going to address tonight is, is simply what Holy Spirit said transparency and in this transparency we're going to uncover as far as the intimacy that we have with our heavenly father um and and where are we at amen you, you know it's it's amazing because holy spirit reminded me just right now at this very moment hallelujah and glory to god i could see angels hallelujah hallelujah angels are all around us the glory of god is his glory hallelujah shines through a beloved child of god you have jesus christ as lord Amen. Hallelujah. His light shines in and through you. All of heaven is right now, beloved church family. Hallelujah. All of heaven is right now in Jesus' name. And Holy Spirit reminded me back in the day when you would go to the mall, right? Uh, I don't know if many of you have either been in the mall or not. I know here lately, you know, probably haven't. But I remember growing up, one of the biggest treats was going to the mall, right? And Holy Spirit just took me back to this moment where I got lost. And oh my goodness. You know, that's not a good feeling. Amen. Whether you're itty bitty, right? Where you're a little child and you just get lost and, you know, immediately panic comes in, right? Or even when you're a grown person, right? And above all, we mean spiritually speaking. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that the anointing of Holy Spirit, glory to God. Listen, God is head over heels in love with you. He's not mad at you. All our Father God is asking you, will you receive my Lord Jesus Christ? Will you receive him? Because my Lord Jesus Christ is perfect, and he come to save me. He come to save you, amen? I pray that you receive Lord Jesus Christ by the end of this worship service, that you just confess him as Lord and Savior. And what takes place in that very next breath when you call upon the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen, Holy Spirit moves on the inside, seals you. Amen, for all of eternity. And I remember at this mall, getting lost, but many of you would recall, and they probably still have it, have it now, I haven't been to the mall in, my goodness, in a long, long time. But um, I remember walking up, I was pretty small, I, I, I remember walking up to this board, and on this board, it had an arrow, right? And it was like a little green arrow, if I remember correctly, a little green arrow, and it says, you are here. Amen? Amen, you are here. And right there, you could kind of get your bearings as far as, okay, I'm right here. Right? And isn't that sweet that that's who Holy Spirit is in our lives in a relationship with God Almighty? Amen? Amen? Holy Spirit, our advocate, our comforter, hallelujah, agape, our God, amen, sent by Lord Jesus Christ, through our Heavenly Father. That Father God is the only one that can send Holy Spirit upon a beloved child who receives Lord Jesus Christ. Why is that? Because Father God knows our hearts. Father God knows, hallelujah, say it with me, beloved church family, everything, amen? Father God knows everything, amen? And I pray that in this next few moments, we're, we're not going to take too long, praise God, but in these next few moments that we are transparent with Father God, amen? That we are transparent. And remember, beloved church family, Holy Spirit wants us to be blameless because that trumpet is going to go off soon. And the last time I checked, the only way you can be blameless is receiving the Holy One. The only one who was blameless. The only one who was perfect. Hallelujah. Say it with me, beloved church. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus Christ. 
So let's pray. Praise God. I pray that you're excited. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. I am so excited. Hallelujah. And uh, we only have Isaiah 54, 5. For those of you who have your Bibles out, Isaiah 54, 5 is what Holy Spirit said we're going to be in. And um, that's what we're going to be in. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. You're offering unto us, Father God, to this entire world to show us how much you love us, Father God. There's nothing else that needs to be said. Jesus Christ is Lord. We receive your love, Father God. And it's only through you, Lord Jesus Christ, that we have your peace, Father God. Holy Spirit, you are our peace as we plead the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, being thankful that you saved us, that you live in us and through us, that your presence is more than enough. That's all we want, Father God, is your presence. Holy Spirit, bless us with a fresh anointing tonight. Holy Spirit, you are our only teacher. It's, 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 it's never anybody, Father God, but you. We give you, Lord Jesus Christ, all the glory, honor, and praise. So, Father, always rebuke Joey Karangan. Rebuke me, Father God. Put a guard across my mouth, Father, that I only speak always what, Holy Spirit, what you want me to speak, for you are my God. And, Holy Spirit, I thank you that as I speak your word, Father God, for all those who have ears to hear, Father, whether they are planted and rooted here at your holy church, Open Arms Community Church, or whether, Father God, there are other churches all around this world in these communities, Father, bless them. Bless them, Father God, in the mighty name above every name, Lord Jesus Christ, and through the anointing of your Holy Spirit, for we are one body in you, Lord Jesus, and we just bless you. And it's in your holy and precious name we pray, and all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give somebody a high five. Mm. Amen. Give yourself a high five. Praise God. And don't forget the angels. Amen. Hallelujah. Angels love high fives too. Praise God. I mean, it's funny to me because I strongly believe that as a beloved son of God, if I allow myself if I allow myself, that's called pride. If I allow myself to start acting conceited, um, snobby, haughty, you know, prideful, you know, like better than, it's a dangerous game that I'm playing with Holy Spirit because that's not who God is. Amen? You see, God is a good and perfect Father. He loves us. And he demonstrated his love through one perfect man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And when Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated the perfect love of God, being God Almighty in the flesh, reconciling us, flesh, to God, Lord Jesus Christ did not demonstrate on this earth being snuck up, stuck up, snobby, right? I almost combined those two words together, invented a new word, right? Right? Lord Jesus Christ wasn't holier than thou. Lord Jesus Christ wasn't, you know, get away from me. Lord Jesus Christ wasn't, oh my goodness, what's going on over there? We can't go there, right? Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated how a beloved child of God walks the face of this earth, amen? And how do we, how do we walk? We walk by faith. Who is the faith? His name is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Hallelujah. We are saved by grace through faith. Amen. And who is grace? Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit right now wants to bless us with his presence that will get rid of things that we thought that we knew who we were. Now, beloved church family, this is when we get deep into this word because right now God is examining our hearts and he's asking us, who are you? Who are you? Now, by default, I pray in Jesus' name, immediately I am a beloved child of God. Amen? I am yours, Father God, paid for in full through Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I am your temple. Amen? And glory to God, that's gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. The glory of God is Holy Spirit, though, wants to know, wants to know, how do you conduct yourself and why do you do it that way? Now we're getting down to the nitty-gritty, amen? 
Now we're getting down to, okay, okay, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, right? Because far too often we hear, well, I've always been like this. Far too often we hear, well, I was raised this way. Far too often we use that excuse exactly what it is, an excuse, right, to exhibit that type of behavior, to exhibit, right, that, ki that kind of character or that kind of, right, point of view or opinion, right? Right now, Holy Spirit is asking, will you lay that down at the feet of Lord Jesus? Erase your mind. Do this with me, beloved church family. Erase your thoughts. Father God, I choose to erase every thought. Father God, I do not define who I am. Say that with me, beloved church family. I do not define who I am. And glory to God, beloved church family, let's just say it gooder and gooder. Father God, here I am. Amen? Here I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen? Hallelujah. You see... These are those moments right now. And, and, and here in my heart, I'm not beating you up. Listen, I'm not beating you up. But if we immediately come into God's presence saying who we are, rather than submitting to Holy Spirit and blessing Lord Jesus Christ and going to the creator, the alpha, the omega, Father God himself, going to the creator and saying, I'm, here I am. I'm your beloved child. I am here, Father. You see, there's, there's two different things now, amen? And guess what? The, the, the one that I, I am confronted with a lot, that the enemy dis, tries to distract me and puts in front of me a lot, are beloved children of God who have decided, who have decided who they are without talking to God. Mm. Why? Listen, I'm not beating you up because I've done it. For many years, Trish will tell you, Trish has done it, right? When, when we think that we have to be a certain way because either other people say so or the prideful desires of our heart because we see what we like and that's what I want to be and that's without going to the Father, amen? And that right there shows the relationship that I had and praise God that's dead and gone, amen? But it shows the fruit of my life and my relationship. The reason why Holy Spirit is warning us before I can even get into Isaiah is check this out. If we continue walking this way, we are not walking by faith and trust and believing in Lord Jesus Christ and allowing his anointing through Holy Spirit, our God in you and in me, to change us. We are walking by pride saying, I know you, Lord Jesus. I know you, but I still want to say this is the way I'm going to be. Will you do me a favor if you feel led right now, and I pray that you do? Say it with me. I rebuke that in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now let me say this, and we're going to repeat that, because Holy Spirit said, there's a lot of sickness and disease and bondage right now because of this very thing that agape has exposed. I have this. I have that. The doctor said this. The doctor said that. This runs in my family. Mommy had that. Daddy had that. This is what I'm afraid of. See what I said? This is going to happen. All that, all that is just curses and a lie and deception from the evil one. And the last time I checked, nothing can come against the blood of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Amen. Let's give God praise. So I'm going to ask you one more time. And for those of you who didn't speak up, I pray in Jesus' name, that you speak up right now at this moment. It doesn't matter what time, what day. It doesn't matter what year you listen to this message because God is God Almighty. Amen? And I'm going to ask you, can you repeat this again after me? And now when you say that I rebuke this in the name of Lord Jesus Christ, now you know what Holy Spirit has exposed in Jesus' name. And it's for us to demonstrate this glorious power as a beloved child of God to hold true. Does God lie? No! He never, ever will lie. So God is saying, I do not lie. I stand on my word. My word is Lord Jesus Christ. My word is alive in you through the Holy Spirit. And Holy Spirit is saying, speak the word. Because Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God said 
that greater things you will do. Let's demonstrate this power in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah! Let's demonstrate this power. Amen? Because we expose once again through worship in what Holy Spirit is saying. No longer will you approach God's throne saying who you are, but you say, here I am. Hallelujah. Here I am. Amen. Say that with me, church family. Here I am. So on the count of three, let's say it together and praise God. We're going to get into the worship service. Hallelujah. We didn't even start yet. Praise God. Hallelujah. One, two, three. I rebuke that in the name of of Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Hallelujah. God knows. Amen. God was just waiting for us to speak in faith. Who is our faith? Lord Jesus Christ. He's the only faith. Amen. He's the only faith. What a glorious picture. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. The trumpet's going to go off soon. Amen. What a glorious picture. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit said he wanted it here. Praise God. I pray we don't even make it out of this worship service. Praise God. Hallelujah. How awesome would that be? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let's get into the worship service. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 5. Simply this. For your maker, who is our maker? Father God. Amen. For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name, Lord Jesus Christ. And your redeemer Hallelujah. Redeemer is the Holy One. Say Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of Israel. He is called the God of the whole earth. Amen. The God of the whole earth. Amen. Agape. Praise God. Agape. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And the glory of God is simply this. We had, uh, for many, many of you who were here, praise God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit bless us with such an amazing uh, wedding, Brother PJ and Sister Ashley. Praise God. Congratulations to them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And Holy Spirit is so sweet because this message is in celebration, of course, of his beloved son and daughter, Brother PJ and Sister Ashley, in, in their marriage. Amen. And this is a celebration as far as for all of us, praise God, who are married. Amen. Now, before you turn off this worship service, because... Maybe you're single, amen? Maybe you're not old enough to get married, amen? Or maybe, you know, you're, you're blessed with that anointing, hallelujah, that powerful anointing that the Apostle Paul had, amen? That, that you were just gifted in, in your anointing, your relationship with God Almighty, that you know that, hallelujah, God is your husband. God is our husband, amen? Now, we're going to get in depth in this, and um, praise God, pray for me that, that um, we just... We're obedient, amen, and that we just, uh, we're just open and sensitive to what Holy Spirit wants to teach us. Praise God. So, Holy Spirit said there's no need anymore to go back to this written word because he done said it. Amen? So, let's just be obedient. Praise God. Now, these, this is what Holy Spirit wants to bring to the forefront of our minds. And once again, this message is for, say it with me, <laughs> everybody, praise God. And this is what God wants to show us, amen, that for far too long before Lord Jesus Christ come to this earth, there has been people that wanted a relationship with God Almighty, amen, and in this relationship with God Almighty, they become engaged with God, right, it's, 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 the, it's their heart, Amen. You see, our God never looks at outside appearance. Amen. God just looks at the heart. Hallelujah. The heart. Say that with me, the heart. And before Lord Jesus Christ come to this earth, Father God, all he wanted was to be who he is, the great I am. Father. Right? He loves his children, all of his children. Amen. All of his children. He loves them all. And for those, of, for those of the ones that wanted a relationship with God, got engaged with God. Amen? And isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful, that word engaged, right? You see, I, I, I'm taking back to the time when before I even asked Trisha's hand in marriage, I had to ask her daddy. Amen? 
just to be respectful, praise God. And praise God, he said yes, amen. And I remember asking her to marry me. And it was one of those moments where, you know, I know many of you share that. It's like, you know, we all have different stories of how, you know, we got engaged, right? Well, I want you to take this into consideration as far as the relationship that God had with his people, right? God, say it with me, had with his people. But as you know, as you know, the devil, look at this world now, right? The devil wants to try to take as many souls as he possibly can to eternal damnation. To hurt our Father, to hurt Lord Jesus Christ, to hurt Holy Spirit, the devil wants to try to deceive, manipulate, lie, steal, kill, and destroy as many souls as he possibly can because even Satan himself knows his time is coming. Now I say all that to you because when the written word of God, when the prophet Isaiah was speaking this word, amen, of course, as you know, God is my salvation, amen? That is who, I, that's what Isaiah means, praise God. And when you think about that, God is my salvation, isn't it beautiful that he's speaking these words into the future, that Holy Spirit would have him speak these words of life, amen, of agape, back then to make it come to fruition. And when this finally manifested, we know that Lord Jesus Christ come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ come. And this was God's way of saying, enough with the engagement, amen. Now it's time, now it's time to get serious in our relationship. And God made us this offering, amen this offering. You see, many people want to say that they have a relationship with God. And the glory of God is, and I pray that this message blesses all of us who are married, all of us who are single. Maybe, maybe that, once again, that's the anointing, and give God all the glory for that, because that's far greater. Amen? God's blessed you with the, an anointing. And, and maybe you, you are praying to God, for the one that he has made for you. And I believe in Jesus' name. He or she is coming soon. Praise God. Now I'm, th I'm thankful for this. Because when you, when you think about. Meeting that special someone. Amen. Husband, wife. Wife meets the husband. However it is. Whoever saw each other first. Right. Man and woman. Hallelujah. It's that. It's that relationship that you just catch each other's eye right in that twinkle of an eye right there, there there's some of us praise god that are our are, are childhood sweethearts hallelujah just like pastor john pastor mary glory to god such an anointing an abundant marriage amen and of course then there, there are some of us that later on down the line we met however it was glory to god it was a divine moment orchestrated amen for God's glory. And see, in this same, this same relationship took place when we called upon Lord Jesus Christ. See, the glory of God is he's, he's so loving and merciful and kind. He is God Almighty and he wants to shower us with his presence, with his love. Holy Spirit is always chasing us down. Amen. Trish and I were just talking about this the other day. That even in our disobedience, Holy Spirit was chasing us down protected us, saved our lives numerous, numerous, numerous times, right? And we know that it was all him. Hallelujah. And the glorious day comes when you finally say yes to Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I pray. Amen. I pray that finally, yes. Amen. And you see, this is God's way, right? From the old to the new. Amen. Say that with me. From the old to the new, where God himself, amen, on bended knee is offering you, amen, is offering you, saying, will you marry me? Will you marry me? Amen. Now, I remember when, when, when I proposed to Trish, I gave her a ring, right? Praise God, I gave her a ring. And I put that ring on her finger. Hallelujah. But may I ask you, church family, does that make us married? No. 
right? Now granted, I know everybody's relationship is different with one another as far as husband and wife, amen? Husband and wife, right? Man and woman, praise God. And I, I, and I know that everybody has a different kind of relationship. Some of, you know, some of us just went straight into engaged and married right away, you know? Praise God for that. But this is where Holy Spirit wants to bless us with life-changing revelation in our intimacy with God our Father, amen? Because Holy Spirit says that in your relationship, in your marriage, does it reflect your relationship with God? Hallelujah. May I repeat that? Does your relationship with your husband or with your wife, does your marriage mirror your relationship with God Almighty. Hallelujah. Well, let's go deeper. Praise God. Holy Spirit said so. So when I, when, I, when I was engaged with Trish, many of you said, no, you're not married yet, right? We're not married. We're just engaged. She said yes, amen, and hallelujah. Hallelujah. But check this out. There still had to come a day, there still had to come a day that we had to stand before God, before a pastor, right? There had, there had to be a day that it was official. Amen? Say that with me, official. Praise God. And this is where the anointing of Holy Spirit just blesses us in the overflow because God right now is asking, are you engaged to him? Or are you married to him? Amen? Now I know some of you are going, well, I'm a beloved child of God. Jesus Christ is my Lord. Holy Spirit lives in me. I worship God the Father. Hallelujah. You're married. Amen? God is your husband. Hallelujah. That's what, that's what Isaiah 54, 5 just said. Amen? However, there are some of you that Holy Spirit right now Holy Spirit right now has just got a hold of, amen? Whether the conviction comes as far as in your earthly marriage, what is the fruit of that and what is the fruit of your marriage with God, amen? What is the fruit of your relationship with God Almighty? Hallelujah. One of the, one of the biggest things, one of, there's just millions right praise God and I pray it just keeps on coming hallelujah overflow one of the one of the one of the millions of things that Holy Spirit has taught me was especially in fellowship and in premarital counseling and marriage counseling and so forth is that it's one thing to hear a husband speaking and speaking and speaking and telling me you know all the things and you know all the things that he does for his wife and everything else and all this stuff and it's also another thing to hear what a wife has to say about her husband, you know, regardless what season that they're in. But Holy Spirit, give life-changing revelation and blessings and breakthrough, hallelujah, in this abundant marriage, amen, when Holy Spirit says, now I want to see both of them pray together. I want to see both of them worship me together. I want you to ask them, I want you to ask them, pray for your husband, husband, pray for your wife. Amen? Amen? See, I pray that as we worship God in this very moment, we're living in a vapor of a life, and Lord Jesus is coming back for us soon, that we truly examine as far as our intimacy, our relationship with God Almighty as our Father. And are we allowing God's presence to overflow within us that it's no longer just reading stories in the written word. It's no longer just hearing a message. It's no longer just pulling up videos or singing music. It is truly how we live our life as we demonstrate God's glorious power in how we love our wives. Amen. How wives love their husbands. Hallelujah. 
How parents love their children, amen? How we love one another, praise God. Because remember, when we approach God saying who we think we are without submitting to Holy Spirit and saying, Father, here I am. And the glory of God is when you take your spouse together because you are one in God's eyes. Husband and wife, you are one. Man and woman, you are one in God's eyes. And it's in that holy marriage that he looks upon you and he sees the glory of the salvation that we have through Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I pray that this word blesses you. Hallelujah. For those of you, once again, for those of you who are called by God and anointed by Holy Spirit, hallelujah, that God is your husband, that, that you know that God said you're not to marry. Oh, hallelujah. Let's, beloved family, let's just give them, hallelujah, a round of applause. Amen. A round of applause. Praise God. Because hallelujah, I just thank God for your obedience and faithfulness and the anointing that you demonstrate. Amen. And how you bless our heavenly father. And for those of you who are married, I pray in Jesus' name that this message bless you. And I also pray that it convicted you. Amen. That, that, that when anyone would, would see or even hear of your marriage, do they hear the glory of God in the salvation that only comes through Lord Jesus Christ? Remember, God's offering. Amen. Remember, God's offering. And, and, and do they see the seal? Listen. Listen. This is how many people identify someone being married, right? And this is a circle because it's the eternal love. And all this is intended is to give glory to Lord Jesus Christ because this seal is Holy Spirit. Amen? Holy Spirit. Say his name, Holy Spirit. And I pray in Jesus' name that this doesn't define, a piece of jewelry doesn't define the marriage but it is our salvation in the Lord Jesus Christ, the anointing of Holy Spirit, and how much God loves us. That is our marriage. Amen. And praise God. And I pray for you young ones or for those of you who are praying for the Lord to bless you with a husband. Amen. Women, I, I know that you're, you're, you're praying for a godly man. Hallelujah. I believe in Jesus' name that God has that godly son of his prepared, ready for his beloved daughter. Amen. And there are many of our brothers that are believing for a Proverbs 31, uh, uh, just a, 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 a virtuous woman, a daughter of God. Hallelujah. And I'm believing in Jesus name that that shall manifest. Praise God, because God wants you two to come together. Amen. To do his mighty work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just give God praise. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much, Father God, that we are married to you for all of eternity. And it's all because of you, Lord Jesus Christ. You came, Lord Jesus Christ, and glory to you, Father God, you offered everything. You offered everything that you have, Father. And you said, do you receive? Do you, will you marry me? Will you be one with me? And glory to you, Father God, we receive you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have sealed us for all of eternity. Father God, that heaven is right now and heaven is right now within us, Father. So, Father God, thank you once again for your eternal seal. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father. Charge every angel over us. Father God, push evil far, far, far away from us, Father God. Bless our marriages, Father God. Hallelujah. Bless our marriages in the overflow. The Holy Spirit, your anointing, your light shines through our marriages, Father God. May I be so bold to say, Father, that when this world sees your marriages of all your beloved children here at Open Arms Community Church, Father God, that they see your glory. And it's never to boast on ourselves. We just want to boast on you, Lord Jesus Christ. We just want your light, your presence, Holy Spirit, to shine. We just want to give you all the glory, honor, and praise, Father God, for we love you with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And it's in Jesus Christ's holy and precious name. And all God's beloved said, amen, hallelujah. God bless you guys, praise God. God is good all the time. <laughs> it just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name, amen. I pray, we pray, we all pray that, oh, hallelujah, that, 
that we see everybody, everybody tomorrow morning here in worship service. Hallelujah. We pray and declare that such a harvest, Holy Spirit is, is bringing such a harvest. Amen. You know our hearts. It's not for the numbers. It's all for the souls who want to receive Lord Jesus Christ, be in the presence of Holy Spirit. Amen. And for Father God to just bless them with the overflow. Amen. We're believing in Jesus' name that, that there's not going to be enough chairs. Praise God. And I thank God for that. Hallelujah. I thank God for that. Because, hallelujah, the time is coming soon. Amen. The time is coming soon. And praise God. I cannot wait for that glorious day. I know you can't wait too. Amen. Love you, beloved church family. Oh, hallelujah. Love you so, so much. Thank you for loving God first with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Amen. And allowing Holy Spirit in you to love everybody else. Amen. Love you guys. Praise God. See you tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Praise God. If not, I'll see you in the next half an hour. Hallelujah. God bless you guys. Hallelujah. Mwah.